Hey there guys, my name is Marques and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for construction as a project management. Now if you're going to have any questions regarding Monday.com, how you can do something in it, uh, just ask the question down below in the comments and if I know the answer I'll be really happy to help you. So the first thing I want to click is add, choose from templates. Here when you're going to be in templates, you want to go down below and you're going to find construction. And here you have uh, like few things here, few templates that you can use. We are going to focus in this video on construction management, construction project tracking, and also I can have the contract solution here. So let's start first with the construction management and how we can use it and how we can work with it. Now, this is nothing really that difficult because in the moment when you will get the sense on how we can use it, you will get better at it. So here it is, what we can find here. First thing is the project details. Here you can get all the information on how you can use it. Uh, then you can have the in construction. So let's say this is address one. Here you can simply have an address. Let's say this is going to be unit five. Here, then you can do choose the address and you will just write it here. Then you see it here the unit, overall unit progress. Then also the main phase. So if it's a drywall, trench, framing, permits, roof, electrical. Project, then you're going to see the product, project manager, permits, X permit, permit date, and you would edit right here. You can easily just go to the right side and find all the columns that you can find in the construction as a foundation. These are the labels. So you can every single label that you would add to your project management dashboard or board, you can simply edit the label and edit here. Then you're going to see also the framing and roof and siding here. So interior, exterior paint cabinets, and all the columns necessary for construction. So then you can have the subcontractors that we are going to find here also, project files that I can add a link to, project overview, and just a really great and effective columns here. You can of course like add multiple columns that you would have a timeline, numbers, time tracking date. Now these like in the construction that you would have, then in quality control, you can simply like move it then here and here I have it. So you can simply move between uh, the groups. And then done. Now when we go even further, we can see the timeline here. And we can see the timeline of what is actually happening between all the address units that we have. And then we also can see the map where it actually is. I can expand it, right? And that's how we can do it. Now it's pretty complex. Now it really depends what you need. This is like a good template. And this is the cabinet chart view, view and you can like exterior paint and you can move between uh, in your view on the chart. So when you have the project details, you can also find the subcontractors and you would add a name here. You of course, the got the status, the type, then address, phone, email and subcontractor. You can also add if you want to um, like how much it's going to cost. And then project overview, that's another thing. This is like the all that we saw the in construction and done. And you see right here that like in the project details, we have the project detail with all the information, but maybe if this is too complex for you. So what you can do is just click on a project overview and you see only the labels here and okay, electrical, I need to go and address unit here, 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 here. I can look and check for the subcontractors for electrical or someone who is can like make it for me. And just like click here, find it here and I'm, I'm good to go. 
Then my recommendation, what you can do also is to add a task management, what things needs to be done. But I'm going to show you the task management in the end, okay? I'm going to show you the other two. So this is uh, the construction management. I can choose from a template construction and go for project tracking. That's also the good one that you can have. Here, as you can see, uh, this is just the project info, floors, and you can add a new group here always. So let's say uh, this is permits, foundation, framing, electrical, roof and sliding, interior, exterior for the like first floor here. And you can always add a new floor and add it here. Progress tracking, this is only the labels that we see. This is like you just hide the columns and you have only uh, the columns which which are uh, as the labels one. So we can go step by step, like working on it, working on it like this. And when I had the project details, I want to show you something from the project overview. So you always can see that if I would go here plus and I would choose Kanban view. I can simply choose the Kanban uh, like the, the status and if it's let's say it started or I can go with the framing and okay what needs to be done on a framing right. So that's what you can do and this is how you can use the construction project progress tracking uh, where you can find the uh, progress of every single one of these. So let's say we, you would have six floor and you can have overall unit progress. It's going to calculate based on the labels that you have. Um, and you can go like choose on what you're actually working on. Now, what I want to show you also is simple as construction and you can have a cons general contractor solution. And right here, you're going to have the tasks. And submit those punch list. And this is these are like the contractor solutions that you would have that you can use too. So you can add an item here, uh, like do something. Then if it's, let's say it's going to call someone. If it's a task, submit to punch list, task, category trade, you choose it status you can always edit the label if it's an updated info timeline and dependencies then RFIs submittals so you can really like edit it as much as you want so this is where you can find a general contractor solution and you see the timeline here then the plans also the punch lists and tasks so these are the tasks that needs to be done. And what I mentioned, what I wanted to talk to you about, you can do by yourself like a to-do list. So if I were going to create a new board and this is going to be to-do list for construction, what I have to do, and I'm going to have a tasks. I can simply choose here and let's say uh, I'm going to have a task call a client about house right and let's say I would have a clients here so I can assign it to myself it's a working on it and I can add let's say a person here if I'm going to have people so I would add people or I would have Like let's say a new new item here that I can link and it will be like people that you can add. So that's what you can do. And uh, this is pretty much how you can use it. And then you would like use a Kanban board. And if you want me to create how you can easily uh, create it with clients and everything, let me down below in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. But this is pretty much it. So this is how you can use the monday.com for construction. This was like introduction video. I can create a deeper video about one hour 
what you can do, how we can achieve it to make him even more effective. So let me down below in the comments if you like it. So thank you, have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.